Hey everyone, how y'all doing today and welcome back to another video. So we have the Halloween event part 1 announcement. So let's see what it, what it says and what it has going for us. So it says, beware both big and small scares with more Peckle and Dynamax scarcely during Pokemon Go Halloween 2024 part 1. Uh, so it's going to be Tuesday, October 22nd to Monday, October 28th. Uh, Pokemon debuts more Peko. This is fine. They announced this during the World Championships. More Peko is finally coming during Halloween event, the Halloween event part one. So more Peko will charge into Pokemon Go, changing the way you battle. Certain Pokemon like more Peko will be able to change form in battle each time it uses a charge attack, unleashing new possibilities for you and your battle team. Initially, more Peko will be the only uh, will only be able to change forms when battling Team Go Rocket or in Go Battle League. So I guess not in raids. Um, other Pokemon will eventually come out, probably Edgy Slash, that does the form change, right? So the featured attacks will be Aura Wheel, Electric, where Peckle will know the charged attack Aura Wheel uh, while it's in its full belly mode, and then it's going to be 100 power, increases the, uses, the user's attack by one stage, and then Aura Wheel Dark, so when Peckle will know the charged attack Aura Wheel Dark while it's in its hangry mode. So it's going to be 100 power as well, and increases the user's attack by one stage. Okay, we pretty much knew about more Peko, right? Uh, Go Battle League. So starting with this event, you can find more Peko in rewards throughout the season in Go Battle League. During the event, during the event, more Peko will be encountered more frequently in the premium track of the Go Battle League. After the event, starting at rank 16 in the Go Battle League, more Peko will be encountered in both Go Battle League reward tracks, but more frequently in the premium track. I don't need this Pokemon right away. I'm not going to use the premium tracks for this. I'll get it eventually. Max battles, uh, Dynamax Ghastly is going to be in one star raids. So I guess that's okay. I mean, it's another Pokemon you can shiny hunt if you want to. So Ghastly is just going to be added for Halloween, which is pretty cool. I mean, to be fair, I do like doing these max battles. Um, I'm not excited or over a Ghastly. I don't, I'm not going to, I don't collect shinies for these. You know, <laughs> I already have shiny Ghastly. I don't need uh, a Dynamax shiny one, but if you. Collect them, then more power to you. Hopefully, you get it. Event bonuses: two times candy for catching Pokemon. Increased chance for trainers level 31 uh, and up to receive candy XL for successfully catching Pokemon with nice well, with nice throws are better. Always a great feature. Uh, and then increased chance to encounter shiny Umbreon in raids. Non custom Umbreon, just a regular Umbreon. I don't need that. And then shiny Zora in the wild. Okay, uh, that one I'm really interested in. Shiny Zora in the wild, increased chance to encounter it. Let's go. Um, so wild encounters, uh, Zubat, Spinarak, Murkrow, Mischievous, Shuppet, Driftbloom, Purloin, Female Frillish, Zora, Litwick, Grievard, and then some trainers might encounter Sableye and Absol. Okay, uh, let me know if you need any of these. If you do more power to you, Driftbloom, obviously good for the XLs because Driftbloom is actually really good now. Um, the only one I need is the Zorua. Uh, yeah, well, Zorua, and then I need, I guess, Purloin and Frillish for Pokemon Home uh, for the main series. So, can always go for those. Uh, so, pretty cool there. Pretty cool. Nothing too exciting, but... And then it says, okay, so we have raids. One star raids going to be Sneasel, Sableye, Yamask, and Goliath Yamask. Three star raids will be Hisui and Typhlosion, Umbreon, and Bombardier. So, the Umbreon uh, does have increased odds, as mentioned. Free timed research. Additional event exclusive timed research will be available from October 22nd to November 3rd. Timed research focused on Spirit Tube and its 108 spirits will be available throughout the event. Complete the research task to receive encounters with Halloween themed Pokemon like Spirit Tube and Morpeko. Okay, I mean, it's free, so hey, why not? You know, uh, I actually traded for a Shiny Spirit Tube like years ago at one Go Fest. I've never gotten one myself. If I do get another one, hey, I need one for Pokemon Home, so I'm definitely down for that. Field research task encounters. So the following Pokemon will be available when you uh, complete field research tasks. Sableye, Scraggy, Golit, Sandy Guys, Morpeko, uh, Nimble, and Grievard, and some trainers might encounter Spirit Tomb. Uh, complete field research for Mega Mega Energy. Okay, I'm getting Gengar, Houndoom, Spirit Tomb, Bennett, and Absol. Pay time research for, for five dollars. Uh, timed research rewards include the following: three times catch candy, um, event themed Pokemon encounters, including the first peek at a new costume Pokemon debuting in part two of the event. Froki wearing a Pokemon Halloween costume and Rallet wearing a Pokemon Halloween costume. Event themed Pokemon encounters, including Pikachu wearing a witch hat. So I guess they're bringing that back. Spirit Tomb and Mopeko, a new avatar item depending on your choice. Mopeko onesie, full belly mode, or Mopeko onesie hangry mode. So you get one of those. 
whichever one you want, who knows. Um, trainers will be able to purchase and give tickets, of course. Um, so these are some of the costumes, right? We have, we've had the Pikachu, obviously, you know, Spirit Tomb and Mopeko, and then Froki with the Witch Hat and Rowlet with the hat as well, going to be new. They look pretty cool. I like how that's on Froki's, like, eye. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, no, no, pretty cool. I like it. Um, so that's the $5 ticket, but then we have another ticket? Wait. Yeah, for $2. For $2, you'll be able to access event-themed timed research. The following Pokemon will be uh, available to encounter when you complete timed research tasks. Pikachu wearing a witch hat, then Vul Vulpix wearing a spooky festival costume. Gengar wearing a costume, Piplup, Driplim, Froakie, Pumpkin Boot, Rowlet. Uh, so here are the costumes. So we've had all these in the past. The only new ones will be the Froakie uh, and the Rowlet. The other ones we've had in the past. Now, maybe you need some of the shinies. I don't have the shiny Vulpix. I feel like I don't have the shiny Witch Hat Pikachu. I mean, I might have one, but I don't have the Raichu. Um, costumes have gotten too much for me. I, don't, I, I do collect the shiny costumes. I have been, but... I don't really care about them as much, I guess, um, because I'm not going, like, here's the thing, like, I kind of stopped caring because, like, I was collecting all, all the shinies, and I do collect all the shinies, I, I go for all the shinies, but then I started collecting all the costume shinies, and then they released Shadows, now they're releasing the Dynamax, I'm not going for the same shinies over and over and over again, you know, even though they might be slightly different, right, but if you do more power to you, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if I get it, great, you know, I'll, I'll put it in the tag, I'll label it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get it. Uh, new avatar items and stickers, so the following avatar items will be available to purchase, so it's going to be a Halloween, uh, some Halloween, Wubat Top Hat, Mopeko Onesie, a, Mope a, bo a Full Belly and Hangry Mode, so one of these you get if you buy the, the ticket, I guess. Um, okay, fair enough, which one would you buy? Would you pick that one, or not buy, but like, like it, with the research, which one would you pick? Um, I'd have to think about it if I do it. If I do it, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Explore with Deco. Uh, so I love this. Pokemon encounter. Uh, Pokemon encounter backgrounds. Pokestops and gyms will be decorated for the holiday during both parts of the Halloween event. We hope you enjoy the colorful decor. Um, I definitely will love town. Uh, Lav Lavender Town music. Love to see it. Uh, Pokestop showcases, of course, and there's going to be a Halloween uh, bundle for the web store. There will be new deals in the Pokemon Go web store starting with the event October 22nd for five dollars. We'll net you three remote passes, one premium pass, and one max particle. Forty dollars will give you twenty incubators, twenty super incubators. A hundred bucks will give you three remote raid passes, fifty incubators, three max particles, sixteen battle passes, and fifty incubators. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any of that. I mean, it might be worth it. That's fine. But either way, let me know what you think. Honestly, I I always like the Halloween events. This one. Isn't the the most exciting? Ho hopefully, part two is more exciting, right? I mean, more Peckle being introduced is added, uh, or not added, but it's exciting, I guess, right? Because it's more Peckle and it's a new Pokemon, and we knew it was coming. It has kind of like a new feature in battle, so that's kind of exciting. But we've kind of been waiting on that for a while. Um, and then the Shiny Zorua increased chance is, is pretty much the main drive for me <laughs> when it comes to that no shiny grieve rod no mimic you nothing like that hopefully part two is better but yeah let me know what you think uh, about it that's just my opinion maybe you're really looking forward to a lot of different features in this event but either way that will be it for this video thank you so much for watching have a good day bye